Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for July 31st. Looks as though we have a new moon. It says 11, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's a day of setting intentions with a new moon. Um, this is just a message from my guides. We're just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. Uh, let's just see what we get. What do we have for the 31st? experience happens to be the number 16 <laughs> this is the tower this is the tower boom here it is here it is life change you never saw it coming you never saw it coming Let go of belief, belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event. A situation that leads to spiritual, or it doesn't say spiritual, but that's what I saw. It says significant opportunities. So this might be a spiritual change. You know, in reality, your life, you are a spirit. So that makes complete sense. But anyway... So, I was thinking about the Tower card this morning, as a matter of fact. And I was in the bathroom, like you guys wanted to hear that, but whatever. Um, the Tower is a change in your structure, a change in your foundation. It could be a change in, it's, 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 it's a change in some significant foundation in your life. This could be your job. This could be at home. This could be a relationship, or this could be your body. This that's that that's a vehicle. Okay, it's a structure. This is a major change that is about to happen. I mean, this is a life-changing event. July thirty-first, a new moon. This is a rude awakening. Somebody has been holding on to a false sense of security that doesn't serve them anymore. And this is the universe saying, okay, it's time to break this down. It's not going to be easy. Definitely not. But this doesn't serve you anymore. So be prepared. Be prepared for some sort of realignment on the 31st. Day one. What about in love? What do we got in love? Trust. It's a challenge though. It really is. It's a challenge to trust, isn't it? To believe. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Oh, really? Really. It's re you really, really, really need to have faith when your foundation gets shaken. So you're going to have to pull it out of you. Because there is about to be some upheaval and major shake up. Uh, in which you're going to have to believe and have faith and have trust that this is all happening for the best. Trust and have faith. This is life experience. This is giving you life experience. One card, please.
number 51. Messages, deadlines, anticipation, waiting, waiting, waiting. And waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting. Right? Somebody's been waiting, and waiting, and waiting. All my life, I've been waiting for my life to begin. As if somehow my life was ahead of me, and that someday I would arrive at it. Waiting for a message to arrive can bring anxiety, fear, hope, good news or bad news, acceptance or rejection. A ticking clock counts down the time remaining. A young woman has been waiting anxiously and the sleeping dog suggests she has done so for some time. The phone is silent and the bouquet of roses suggests a previous response was received. But from whom? From whom? I want you to be able to see it. The same sender or someone else. Either way, the anticipated answer finally arrives. But by now, the clock indicates that the hour is past. Just in time or just too late. The process of waiting for a response isn't merely one of passing the time patiently. The immediacy or tardiness of the response may also provide some insight beyond the message itself. A deadline imposed may be tied to a condition or ultimatum. If there is there flexibility or has the opportunity already been lost? So it looks as though the clock is ticking and somebody's time is almost up. Something is about to crash. Something is about to crumble. Have faith and trust that this is meant to be. Of course, we got one card that doesn't come up again. It just won't come. It's, is this like a theme or something? Judgment. Oh, hell. Well, Judgment Day. <laughs> a card of forgiveness. A card of release. Releasing the past. This is a card of transformation. This is your awakening. Somebody is about to get a wake-up call. And it may not be very easy. It may make you feel very uncomfortable. This is definitely something being revealed. Something is about to be revealed. Some sort of secret or something that has been... You know, not revealed yet. Something that hasn't, the conclude it's over. Okay, 10-10, it's over. It's like we're about to get the final verdict. I don't need the ju this judgment. You think about judgment, same kind of thing as ju justice, but a little bit different. Okay, it's, this is it. This is it. Taking back control. Breaking free. Somebody is breaking free. It's like they're answering their call, the call. Hearing the call. Freedom. Freedom. There it is. There it is. Oh. Something is going to... This is like... This is some, because something is going to become unbalanced or it has been unbalanced. There's been a lack of harmony. There's been an injustice, there's been unfair treatment, there's been some lies, there's been some deception. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth, and well, here it comes. Here it comes. It's probably going to bring about, it could bring about some tears, it could make you very emotional. 
and you may it may be unbelievable you may you may feel like you may be in a state of disbelief um you may not even be aware that this is universally guided you may you may ask why 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 how could this happen i'm sorry this may cause you to question your faith in god if you believe in god or if your faith in a higher power i'm just being honest with you And that is why you are going to need to have faith and trust. Because this is like, this is a state of disbelief. How could this happen? How could this happen? So, I mean, I don't know where that's coming from, but that's what I, it just came out of my mouth. So, we have a very important life-changing event that is about to be it's almost like this 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 is about to change your life drastically you're about to have a drastic life change this is releasing releasing an unhealthy toxic addiction of some sort obsession something that's not good for you Something that was a complete lie. It wasn't, it wasn't emotionally fulfilling. Maybe it was in a way to protect yourself subconsciously. Unaware. Self-protection. So, King of Swords reversed. Strength, yeah, you're going to need to have strength, you're going to need to have willpower, you're going to need to have courage, confidence. We have somebody here that <clears throat> hasn't been focusing on their own happiness. Um, their relationship or the commitment that they have been, whatever this was that they were tied to whatever unhealthy situation this was that they were tied to wasn't fulfilling them emotionally and now it's like they're releasing it and finding their strength to just and their discipline to let it go so that's what we got here this is breaking free from something that is unhealthy this is somebody who has found their confidence to break free from a very unhealthy situation somebody may have been abused neglected they may have been neglecting themselves covering up their their feelings with some sort of addictions that's what i see that's what i see and i think that somebody is realizing that that they don't need to hold on to this anymore i don't need to to abuse myself or allow myself this abuse I need to find the discipline and the confidence and the courage. Like somebody finds that strength, that inner strength to just go their own way. I think we do have somebody that is going their own way. Somebody that has decided that they are going to work on themselves. That's what we got here. I'm taking a new approach. Somebody's got a new vision. I'm going to re recreate a new foundation. So this 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 life change is is going to recreate you. The false sense of security that you have been holding on to, whatever it is. The time is up. The time is up. Be prepared. Be prepared for some sort of This is like an epiphany. It's like a, oh, an awakening. It's time. It's time to let go. This is what this is. It's time to let go. This isn't this isn't what I deserve. I'm I, I'd be better off taking care of business on my own. Somebody is deciding to go their own way. 
we have somebody here that is working on their image. It's gonna their image is about to change. That's what this is too. That all these three cards and that tower card. It's funny that I was thinking about the tower this morning and I was thinking about the image, the the body. Somebody is about to focus on their image. They're about to release the past hurts. You know what we do subconsciously is we, we self-medicate to cover up the pain that we have endured. So I feel like somebody has not been able to have a successful commitment or a successful relationship because of their inability to honor their own truth, to, whatever that is. Somebody's been trying to escape the truth. Somebody with some sort of addiction. Somebody has been living some sort of lie, whatever it is, and it's about to crumble. It is about to crumble, and it is going to be, it's not going to be easy. It's not. It's not. blind faith <coughs> so I feel as though we have somebody here that is finding their inner strength to break free or they're not I don't even think that they, they they're going to have to find their inner strength because the universe is in control here this is a universe card we have a an important life-changing event on this day that is going to change you. It's probably going to be, it's going to make you feel uneasy. You may cry. You may feel emotional. You may not, you, 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 you're definitely going to need to find your strength and your willpower and your discipline to keep going. Hold your head up high. Be proud. Don't give up. Work hard. Prove yourself. I feel like this is a day of releasing a toxic situation. You know what it is. It's not going to be easy. But this lie that somebody has been living is not what the higher power wants. The higher power wants you to be happy. The higher power wants you to be extremely happy. So I feel like the time is up. I can't wait anymore. It's time for me to build my new foundation. And you have to build this new foundation because the universe comes in and tears down the one that doesn't fit your lifestyle anymore. Good luck.